Hi, this is Sandy from SDS Digital, and this is the second part of the introduction video to the SDS VCO, and it looks very different as they are now in production. I'm going to cover the newest two CV modulatable parameters, attack offset and decay offset. So let's get the VCO playing on a sequence to demonstrate. Attack first. The attack can be positive offset by up to 25% by the mod CV input. The top green LED number 4, which corresponds to the top knob, must be wiggled to enable attack offset. Wiggling enters the switch controls as shown in the first demo video. Attack knob right of center turns on attack CV offset and it exits after 6 seconds. Now to add some voltage to the mod input. This is from an LFO slowly cycling. After exiting any wiggle setting, remember the attack knob is no longer valid, so it needs to be turned fully left to re-enable it. You can hear the attack slowly changing with the LFO. This waveform is more obvious. Now let's disable the attack offset again and try the decay offset. The timeout and exit always flashes all of the LEDs. Like so. Decay offset option is behind LED number 3, so wiggle on that. And turn the attack knob right to enable it. The decay offset is 100% from the knob, so can roll back around, which can be useful. Set the decay knob fully down for clarity. See, pretty obvious on the LFO. Let's try a sequencer CV. Nice. And back to the LFO. So there's the attack and decay offset. I'll turn off Decay's offset for the next section. Done. Now I know we've already covered the waveforms, but since the first video, which was quite a while ago, waveform number 9 has been changed as it resembled number 10 too closely. Waveform number 9 is a sine wave with some harmonics that are offset by the mod input when it is actually being a modulator. Here's an LFO modulation on waveform number 9. Let's speed up the LFO and you'll hear the effect. Pretty cool. This, like all of the waves, can also be modulated by recorded modulation. The modulation recorder records the CV going back into the mod jack when on. Then when the mod CV input is assigned to do something else, like control offsets, then the recorder switches to playing the last 3.3 seconds that was on the jack. This way modulation can continue without having a source plugged in. So let's enable the scale's root offset switch, which will start the modulation playing. It's important to have the modulation source plugged in at the time of transition. Now let's check if it's playing the modulation. Look Ma, no plug! It just so happens the modulation recorder is turned on and off from behind wave number 9. So we'll hear the difference. 
there it's off. And there it's on. Off again. And on again. If the mod recorder is turned off, its contents will be protected if you want to use a real modulation again. But if left on, the new modulation will overwrite it. This is also saved to permanent memory. Let's move on to CV selected waveforms. Wiggling on the yellow LED, you can switch the wave select offset on or off. I'll select waveform number 0 to offset from. Now plug into the mod CV and... Oops, still have the scale root offset engaged. Root offset is the amber LED behind the noise waveform. If doing this in a live performance, the mix from the VCO will of course need to be cut off for mode changes. Selecting waveforms can be interesting and useful if experimented with. Here's the sequencer CV offsetting waveforms. This offset combined with the decay offset can yield some great grooves in a more complex sequence as both are offsettable by the knobs. Here's an example. The K is behind LED number 3, so wiggle on it and turn it on. As can be seen with the LFO patched in again, the waveform offset range is bipolar, so it can add or subtract from the present knob selected waveform. Some decays are long while others are short. It's important to unplug the waveform's offset before attempting to select an LED, as it just keeps moving around. If you purchase the $20 CV and gate to MIDI expansion board, this section will be of interest to you. The SDS VCO can send MIDI notes on any of the 16 MIDI channels, the exact notes that the VCO is playing, as long as they are being quantized by the SDS VCO. The channel is selected behind waveform number 12, the top green LED plus 8. Some MIDI hardware, like my Yama, Yamaha drums, for example, have different instruments assigned to each channel, so I'll just choose one. As you can hear, the MIDI notes are following precisely the VCO's output. The gate patched in is controlling the note on, note off, regardless of where the VCO's envelope is, adding some flexibility between the two. Normally the note velocity is at about 80%, but if the mod CV decay offset is turned on and only alone, the mod CV will also control the velocity. This gives enough MIDI control for the VCO to become a proper CV to MIDI converter. Here's a sample of the mod CV controlling velocity. I'll turn down the VCO for this so you can hear it better. And together here they are. The 
The SDS VCO can also be used to send MIDI percussion, even though there's only one CV being sent. Note that quantizing must be on and ideally set to all notes for percussion. Drums are usually on MIDI channel 10, that's 8 plus 2. A single CV and gate is somewhat limiting as with most CV MIDI converters, but multiple percussion notes and hits can be played if the triggers are over 3 milliseconds apart. It would take a bit of trigger wizardry though, so I haven't actually tried it beyond the two notes. All of the notes can be offset using the root key adjustment, or via the mod CV as a root offset. As with regular MIDI notes, the mod CV input can act as a velocity if the decay offset alone is turned on. Now the sequencer's CV channel 3 is controlling velocities, which brings on an entirely new cadence. Changing an 8-step velocity sequence can be pretty entertaining. Now I'll turn that off and switch to uh, CV note offsets. Because this 8 step sequence is adding 0 to 12 notes to the VCO CV inputs, the whole cycle takes on a more complex feel. This is all in the same main sequence, 32 steps long. Playing VCO notes while sequencing MIDI percussion would be silly, unless these were no longer regarded as proper notes. A noisy recorded modulation puts some dirt into the beat. Not so bad, is it? All of these settings and switches can be layered and used together, which is what makes the SDS VCO so, so flexible, but sometimes it's too much to undo them all. That's why there is a master reset. Just unplug the VCO CV, dial in waveform number 0, then wiggle the attack knob and watch the countdown to EEPROM Oblivion. Last chance. Six seconds later, it's a clean slate.
This won't erase your prized custom waveform creations, nor the recorded modulation, but sets everything else to factory. I'm Sandy Sims. Thanks for watching and keep on patching.